Okay, uh, let us start. So last time uh, we were discussing p-test uh, and the statement of the test is the following. For a positive number p, the series 1 over n to the power t p from n equals 1 to infinity is convergent if p is greater than 1 and divergent for p less than or equal to 1. Uh, we use integral test for this. Uh, Consider this function, 1 over x to the power t, for positive x values. Uh, then the value of this function at n is just a n. And this function clearly continues and it is decreasing because its derivative is negative. And the integral of this from n to infinity can be computed as follows. And it is uh, a finite number. Therefore, this is a convergent improper integral as the series is convergent. For p is less than 1, uh, on the other hand, uh, again, the integral test uh, gives us the following. So f of t dt, sorry, so 1 over x to the power p, uh, no, t dt, Okay, so uh, this is, of course, the same thing, the same thing, uh, right? Integral is just uh, minus 1 over p minus 1, right? Uh, because, okay, let me write it this way. This is just t to the power minus p dt and this is uh, so you increase the power by 1 and divide by this uh, and then integral uh, sorry and to infinity well what is this uh, so here uh, this time p is less than uh, 1 or equal to 1 well, first, let's assume p is less than 1. Then this is just, uh, this is just, uh, so minus 1 over, or let me write this way, 1 minus p times, uh, okay, uh, limit t to the power minus p plus 1 as t goes to infinity minus you put n for uh, t, so you get this. But you see, this thing, 1 minus p, uh, limit, uh, p is less than 1. So therefore, this is a positive number. This is a positive number. And as t goes to infinity, this limit is infinite, minus uh, and to the power this so this is uh, uh, infinite therefore it is a divergent therefore the series is divergent uh, okay so this thing is is divergent for p less than 1 and greater than 0. And for uh, p equals 1, uh, this time, uh, so this integral n to infinity f of t dt is just, uh, this is just 1 over t dt. So this is uh, ln n infinite. And of course, when you plug uh, ln t, of course, when you plug infinite for t, uh, so when you take limit as t goes to infinity, this is infinite, so it is divergent. Again, divergent. Hence, this is uh, whenever it's divergent. 
Well, this is actually uh, the harmonic series, and we know it's already divergent. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, now next we have so-called uh, comparison test. Tests. The first one is the comparison test. Uh, okay. So. There are several tests, actually, this is one of them. They are more or less the same, but uh, in different books, you may find different, uh, st you know, uh, statements for the same tests. Let A and, and B and B sequences, positive sequences, for which uh, there exist There exists a positive constant K such that such that uh, ultimately uh, A n is less than K times B n. Okay. The conclusion is that first one. If the series Bn and from 1 to infinity converges, then so does An. And the second one, if An diverges the smaller one is divergent then so does uh, the bigger one okay uh, proof is very easy let's see the proof Okay, uh, well, let uh, Sn be the nth partial sum of the series uh, uh, An, okay, up to this, and Rn is this one. Okay. Now, uh, by assumption, a n is less than k times b n uh, for uh, large n, right? And you say ultimately it means there is an n. So, by assumption, there is sum n so that so that uh, n greater than n implies uh, a n sorry is less than k times b n okay uh, now let me actually consider this one uh, start from big N, okay. Uh, then uh, S N is always less than uh, K times B N, uh, K times R N, because uh, all uh, these A Ns are less than K times B N. So we have this for all and larger than N. Now, both series, uh, both S and 
and uh, Rn are positive uh, and uh, increasing sequences. So, uh, so uh, if they are bounded, then they will be convergent. Now, uh, we are given that uh, Bn is convergent. Uh, the series Bn is convergent. Uh, so, suppose uh, we are proving part A. Uh, we are given that this Bn is convergent. Right? This is convergent. And from 1 to infinity. But we, we know that if this is convergent, then this is convergent. But this is convergent means uh, then uh, the sum of partial sums, the series of the sequence of partial sums is convergent, then Rn, then the sequence. Rn is convergent, but this implies uh, Rn is bounded, is bounded. Well, uh, then, uh, so there is some M positive. So that this Rn is, they are all positive, but less than M, right? For all N. But this implies uh, K times Rn is less than K times M for all N. Uh, but K times Rn is less uh, greater than Sn, this implies Sn, which is k times Rn, and this for all n, so that, so that, So that the uh, sequence Sn is bounded, but, but Sn is an increasing uh, positive sequence uh, and it is bounded, uh, so it must be convergent. Hence, uh, Sn is convergent. Well, that's convergent means this series n to infinity is convergent. But we know that if this is convergent, then the series starting from n equals 1, a n is convergent. Okay. The second part is the uh, same statement actually. Uh, so uh, part B follows from part A. Why is that? Well, because you see when you look at uh, this gadget, so it is just the uh, same statement, contrapositive. If this is convergent, then this is convergent. Therefore, if this is divergent, this cannot be convergent, so that it is also divergent. So uh, A and B are the same statements. Okay, so this is comparison test. Now let's see uh, one 
some examples. Uh, examples. First one. Uh, so check for convergence. Check the uh, series uh, below. for convergence the first one is this the second one okay this is a part b is 3 and plus 1 and cubed plus 1 and from 1 to infinity and the last one is logarithm n Okay, let's see. Solution. Well, the first one is kind of easy uh, because, well, uh, this thing seems to be less than 1 over 2 to the power n. 1 over 2 to the power n is a geometric series and it is convergent, so this will be convergent. To be more precise, let's do it this way. So let a n to be just 1 over 2 to the power n plus 1 and b n to be 1 over 2 to the power n. Then 2 to the power n plus 1, which is a n, uh, is greater than 2 to the power n. This is b n. So that, so that, uh, not b n, sorry. I should be more careful. This is larger than 2 to the power n. So that, so that a n, which is 1 over 2 to the power n plus 1, is less than 1 over 2 to the power n, which is b n. Uh, moreover, this is convergent is convergent so by the comparison test test where we take k equals 1 where we take k equals 1 uh, the series A n, which is 1 over 2 to the power plus 1 is convergent. For part B, 3 n plus 1 divided by n cubed plus 1. So again, let A n to be uh, 3n plus 1 divided by n cubed plus 1 and uh, bn to be just 1 over n squared then uh, this is convergent right is convergent and from 1 to infinity by the p test where p is just 2 larger than 1 and if you look at these things carefully also note that note that uh, a n's a n which is 3 n plus 1 n cubed plus 1 this is less than uh, 3n n cubed plus 1. And if I decrease the expo uh, denominator, I get something also bigger. Uh, wait a minute. No, we have to be careful. Here, uh, okay. Yeah, I have this. 
uh, I'll do this. Okay. Uh, so this is just okay. Three times three over n squared plus one over n cubed. Okay. Let me do it this way. Uh, and uh, this is you see. Uh, 3 over n squared plus this thing is less than 1 over n squared, right? Because uh, because n cubed is larger than n squared for n larger than 1. Therefore, therefore I have this. A n is less than 4 over n squared. So it is 4 times bn. So a n is less than 4 times bn and bn is convergent. The series bn is convergent. Uh, since bn 1 over n squared is convergent uh, and I have this uh, k equals four for all n greater than n, which is one. Uh, by the comparison test, test the series uh, a n and from 1 to infinity which is 3 n plus 1 n cubed plus 1 is convergent okay well it is let me also mention this this is known to be n squared over 6 okay but it is not easy to prove uh, you know it's not a trivial fact but that's the fact okay the last example was this uh, ln n n from 2 to infinity so uh, let a n to be 1 over ln n and uh, b n to be just 1 over n. Uh, well, we know that uh, n is always larger than ln n if n greater than or equal to 1. Why is that? You can see this as follows. Look at this uh, function f of x, which is x minus ln x for x larger than or equal to 1. Uh, then its derivative is 1 minus 1 over x and since x is larger than 1 this is uh, positive uh, so that so that f of x is increasing on uh, 1 infinity uh, thus Thus, uh, f of x is larger than f of 1, which implies what? Uh, f of x is just x minus ln x, and this is larger than f of 1. What is f of 1? Uh, 1 minus ln 1, which is just 1. Therefore, uh, x is larger than 1 plus ln x. In particular, it is larger than ln x for x larger than or equal to 1. Therefore, n is larger than ln n. Okay, but this implies what? Uh, uh, 1 over ln n is larger than 1 over ln n because this is bigger. Uh, and... Uh, we know that this is the harmonic series. 
is the harmonic series which is divergent divergent uh, the series ln n and 2 to infinity is uh, also divergent okay okay uh, we have another test uh, called limit comparison test theorem okay let's see the statement suppose that a n and b n are positive uh, sequences uh, and that uh, limit a n over b n is equal to l where L is either a non negative finite number or infinite. Then the conclusion is then the conclusion is if this l is not infinite if it is a finite number and b n is convergent converges then this one is convergent is also uh, also converges Uh, and the second one, if L is a positive number or if it is infinite, okay, and uh, this thing diverges, then so does this thing. So if L is a positive, uh, sorry, uh, is a finite number then uh, uh, if uh, one of them is convergent then the other one is, uh, if bn is convergent then an is convergent and if l is a positive number or infinite and if bn is divergent then so does an let's see the proof of this okay uh, uh, first, uh, so we assume this L is finite. This means uh, so limit L was the schedule limit A n over B n exists and finite. This means uh, hence there is some n so that so that uh, for n for all n larger than n uh, a n over b n is larger than this uh, okay All right, uh, for all n, uh, okay, I should 
be more careful sorry uh, this is a finite number uh, this means for any epsilon positive uh, the terms of the sequence will fall into the epsilon neighborhood of L for sufficiently large n values so take epsilon to be one then there is some n so that so that n greater than this big n uh, implies uh, a n is inside no not a n a n over b n is inside uh, l minus uh, 1 and l plus okay l plus epsilon so this means uh, l minus epsilon is just l minus 1 I have a n over b n, and this is less than l plus one. But this implies what? Okay, so uh, this is just uh, a n is less than l plus one times b n. Okay, uh, for n larger than big n, but we know that b n is convergent by assumption. This is convergent. Is convergent for n larger. Uh, yes, this is convergent. Uh, so, by the comparison test, test, uh, this is convergent. Okay, now this is convergent for n equals 1, uh, but uh, since it is convergent, uh, this one is also convergent. Now, using the comparison test, this is convergent. Uh, hence, this is convergent. Okay, so this is one way, uh, one part of the uh, statement. Uh, the other one, uh, if this is divergent, then so does this one. Okay. Now we assume uh, L is positive. So this means uh, L is either a finite number, but a positive finite number, or L is infinite. Okay? If uh, this is the case, if 0 is, uh, I have this, then we use this part of the, uh, uh, okay, I can do this. Uh, then let epsilon to be uh, l over 2 then there is some n so that so that n larger than n implies uh, uh, a n a n is in uh, L minus epsilon, L plus epsilon. But uh, epsilon is just 
L over 2. So this is L over 2 and 3 L over 2. So we have this L over 2, which is a positive number. And then I have A N and we have uh, 3 L over 2. Okay. Not A N, sorry, A N over B N. A N over B N. And this implies what? Uh, a n is larger than uh, L over 2 times B n and less than 3 L over 2 times B n. And again, uh, okay, now this time we are given that B n is divergent. Now, if uh, this is divergent, Then, of course, uh, AN, so this is divergent, uh, L over 2 times BN is divergent, and hence AN is divergent by the comparison test. Okay, uh, I have to still consider the case L equals infinite. Uh, well, this means what? Uh, so, limit a n over b n is equal to L, which is infinite, means uh, this thing is larger than uh, any number as n goes to infinity right it becomes larger and larger uh, and uh, bn is divergent that's given so uh, okay uh, a n over b n is larger than uh, any number we want so it's larger than uh, okay let's say uh, one and uh, multiply by uh, n i will get a n will be larger than b n and since this is divergent this will be divergent so uh, if this limit is equal to l and if l is infinite it means this will be larger than one uh, okay if n is big enough uh, so it will be kind of similar to what we have done again uh, then again a n or b n will be larger than one for uh, all and larger than n for some n so this is ultimately larger than one but this implies implies a n is larger than b n for all and greater than n uh, finally since this is divergent then so is this one okay so this finishes the proof Okay, so uh, okay, let's see some examples.
uh, check for convergence. So, okay. first one is this, and the second one. is this one so I will use comparison limit comparison test uh, so uh, you should find a sequence series uh, to compare with this one let's say this gadget uh, and this is how you will think of this well since uh, this is limit comparison I should uh, understand how this term will behave for big n values. You see, if for n is very big, this one has no importance. So this will uh, behave as if 1 over square root of n. So this is a, a p series where p is uh, 1 over 2. And by the p test, it is divergent. Therefore, this will be divergent. So, let a n to be just 1 over 1 plus square root of b n and b n to be just 1 over square root of n. Uh, note that, note that uh, b n, which is this series, is divergent. Divergent for uh, uh, since uh, uh, p equals 1 over 2 so we are using p test okay 1 over 2 which is less than 1 uh, also limit a n over b n is what this is limit 1 over 1 plus square root of n divided by square root of n this is just limit square root of n over 1 plus square root of n. Uh, as n goes to infinity, this term goes to infinity. Uh, this term goes to infinity. So I can write it this way. If you want, limit 1 over 1 over square root of n plus 1. And this is just uh, 0 plus 1, which is 1. So, this limit is a finite number. Uh, so, L is a positive number. L is 1, which is a positive number. Uh, and Bn is divergent. Uh, thus, uh, by part B of the uh, limit comparison test test the series a n is uh, divergent okay recall that part b is this if this is positive and if this is divergent then so is this one Okay. All right. Uh, part B. Uh, so I have this series. N plus 5 divided by. N plus 5 divided by. N cubed minus 2N plus 3. Well, again, uh, so we let a n to be n plus 5 divided by n cubed minus 2 n plus 3 and b n we choose b n looking at this term and uh, consider n is very big when is when n is very big uh, I can disregard this 5 3 and this one and what we get is n over n cubed which is just 1 over n squared. So I should compare this with n squared. 
Okay. Well, uh, then this limit, limit, uh, so L, which is limit of A n or B n, is what? So this is limit. Uh, limit uh, n plus 5 divided by n cubed minus 2n plus 3 over bn means n squared over 1. So we get uh, this limit is just n cubed plus 5n squared n cubed minus 2n plus 3. I have both n cubed here, therefore this limit is 1. Uh, so L is a finite number and this is convergent hence uh, by part A of the uh, limit comparison test test the series okay n plus 5 divided by n cubed minus 2n plus 3 is convergent okay alright let's have a break